ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय Today we are reading from Shrimad Bhagavatam, Canto One, Chapter Seven, Text Forty Nine. Before we read and discuss this verse, let's sing Jai Radha Madhav. Jai Radha Madhav. Kundabihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kundabihari Gopijana Vallabha Hirivaradhari Gopijana Vallabha Hirivaradhari Yashodhanandana Rajojana Ranjana Yashodhanandana Rajojana Ranjana Yamuna Piravan Chari Yamuna Piravan Chari Yamuna Piravan Vanachari Yamuna Tira Vanachari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Gopijana Vallabha Hirivara Dhari Gopijana Vallabha Hirivara Dhari Yashodhanandana Prajajana Ranjana Yashodhanandana Prajajana Ranjana Yamuna Tira Vanachari Yamuna Tira Vanachari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunda Bihari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama 
जगन्नाथपुरी धाम की जय मायापुर धाम की जय ऑल ग्लोरीज टू दसेंबल डिवोडीज हरे कृष्णा ऑल ग्लोरीज टू दसेंबल डिवोडीज हरे कृष्णा ऑल ग्लोरीज टू दसेंबल डिवोडीज हरे कृष्णा ऑल ग्लोरीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू श्री श्री गुरु एंड श्री गौरंगा ऑल ग्लोरीज टू श्रीला प्रभुपाद निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय Today we are reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 7, Text 49. <coughs> we'll read the verse three times. Suta vacha dharmyam nyayam sakarunam nirvyalikam samam maha raja vasudho rajnya pratyana Read two more times. Suta vacha dharmyam nyayam sakaru nirvyalikam samam mahat raja dharma suto rajnya pratyanandat vacho dvija suta vacha धर्म्यम न्यायम सकरुणम निर्व्यालीकम समम मह राजा धर्म सुतो राज्या प्रत्यानंदात वचो द्विचा वर्ड बाय वर्ड सूत उवाचा सूत को स्वामी सेड धर्म्यम इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ रिलीजन न्यायम justice sakarunam full of mercy nirvyalikam without duplicity in dharma samam equity mahat glorious raja the king dharma sutah san rajnya by the queen pratyanandat supported वचह स्टेटमेंट्स द्विजा ओ ब्राह्मणास ट्रांसलेशन सूत गोस्वामी सेट ओ ब्राह्मणास किंग युधिष्ठिरा फुली सपोर्टेड द स्टेटमेंट्स ऑफ द क्वीन व्हिच वर इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ रिलीजन एंड वर जस्टिफाइड ग्लोरियस फुल ऑफ मर्सी एंड एक्विटी 
and without duplicity. Purport by His Divine Grace Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Maharaj Yudhishthira, who was a son of Dharmaraj or Yamaraj, fully supported the words of Queen Draupadi in asking Arjuna to release Ashwatthama. One should not tolerate the humiliation of a member of a great family. Arjuna and his family were indebted to the family of Dronacharya because of Arjuna's learning the military signs from him. If ingratitude were shown to such a benevolent family, it would not be at all justified from the moral standpoint. The wife of Dronacharya, who was the half body of the great soul, must be treated with compassion and she should not be put into grief because of her son's death. That is compassion. Such statements by Draupadi are without duplicity because actions should be taken with full knowledge. The feeling of equality was there because Draupadi spoke out of her personal experience. A barren woman cannot understand the grief of a mother. Draupadi was herself a mother and therefore her calculation of the depth of Kripi's grief was quiet to the point. And it was glorious because she wanted to show proper respect to a great family. Before we discuss on this verse, let me offer obeisances to the Guru Parampara, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Radha Krishna. Om Jnanati Nirandhasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshur Unmilitam Yena Tasmai Shri Guruve Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapada Namashtam Manamati Shachiputram Atrasvarupam Rupam Tasya Grajam Murupurim Mathurim Goshtavati Adhakundam Girivaram Maho Radhika Madhavasham Prapto Yesya Pratita Shri Gurumtam Nasmi Vande Ham Shri Guru Shri Padakamalam Guru Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Ragunathan Vitam Tam Sajeevam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitamsha He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagat Pate Gopesh Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Haripriye Vancha Kalpa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Pyaevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo namo nama 
जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे सो टुडे वी आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो वन चैप्टर सेवन टेक्स्ट फोर्टी नाइन से सुत उवाच धर्म न्याय सकुण निर्व्यलीक समम महत् राजा धर्म सुतो राज्ञा प्रत्यनंदत वचो द्विजाह ट्रांसलेशन सुत गोस्वामी सेट ओ ब्राह्मणस king yudhishthira fully supported the statements of the queen which were in accordance with the principles of religion and were justified glorious full of mercy and equity and without duplicity we have been discussing this chapter the son of drona punished and here in this particular verse suta uvacha suta goswami is saying to all the sages in the forest of naimisharanya about this incident that took place when ashwatthama committed the most heinous activity of genocide and later he commits the activity of infanticide as well in terms of putting the brahmastra in the womb of uttara so here in the previous verse draupadi is saying about how ashwatthama should not be killed because he represents he he is the son of the guru of pandavas and therefore draupadi is requesting arjuna not to kill ashwatthama in this verse there are very very nice words there there are uh, beautiful words used in this verse dharmam so dharma in accordance with the principle of religion and king yudhishthira fully supported the arguments of the queen so king yudhishthira is mentioned here and dharmam is mentioned here and this is a very important part of this verse so yudhishthira is the son of yamaraj dharmaraj is also called dharmaraj because uh, he is giving dharmo rakshati rakshita so there is this statement in vedas which says that those who protect the dharma dharma protects them dharmo rakshati rakshita this is a very important statement in vedas it is and we see in the in one of the incidents of maharaj yudhishthira how beautifully he is representing the state where he is always protecting dharma we know from the incidents in mahabharata the pandavas they play the dice with the kauravas and because uncle shakuni is very shrewd on the side of kauravas he designs the games in such a way that kauravas always will be on the losing side and finally they lose everything and they have to go to the forest for 12 years and live for live in incognito for one year we know about this incident in the lives of pandavas so 
they are in the they have finished the 12 years of exile in forest and the one year of incognito is going to begin and one of the things that pa kauravas have done here is that they have said that if during the incognito any of the pandavas are found they have to go into the forest again for the next 12 years so this is how so this is that is this verse uh, in this verse nir nirvyalikam without duplicity in dharma so nirvyalikam vyalikam is duplicity so we we have seen in terms of the kauravas that how duplicitous they were uh, so this is nirvyalikam is very important in this verse as well the second word the so what what do we see there in the in the in that incident in the year of incognito the 13th year the pandavas are trying to find out how they can be successful in in being in that incognito state and maharaj yudhishthira is so they are they are in the forest and there is a brahmana this brahmana goes to the pandavas and says that my arini uh, that is that is the two wooden sticks that is used to lit the fire for sacrifice has been taken away by a deer so this brahmana comes and asks for help from the pandavas he knows that the pandavas are righteous kings and he he is going he is asking for the help that that my arini has been taken away the thing with which i can do the vedic sacrifice please bring it back it has been taken away by a deer so the pandavas run after the look at the hoof prints of the deer and they start running to find out where the arini is so they keep running and running they run for so long in the forest uh, that they start getting thirsty and they reach a place where there is pond and there is a crane in the pond this particular incident is in mahabharata vana parva where this this crane in the pond so all the pandavas are very thirsty so nakula goes to get the water from the pond and this crane starts talking and the crane says that you first answer my questions then then you can drink the water but he was so thirsty nakula that he he wanted to just drink the water and he drinks the water and because he drinks the water without answering the questions of the crane he he dies because it it, it becomes poisonous without answering the questions from the crane the water becomes poisonous again now the sahadeva comes sahadeva comes and again the same thing happens the crane is saying that you answer my questions first and then take water but sahadeva again drinks the water without answering the questions and he dies as well then the same thing happens with arjuna and bhima so all the four pandavas are have taken that poisonous water without answering crane's question and they have uh, they have died unfortunately so now yudhishthira comes in search of this his four brothers and he sees the situation and again the crane says that answer my questions then you can drink the water and yudhishthira being so the word yudhishthira actually has got a great meaning yudh means war and sthira means one who is stable so maintaining so we 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 see the word here equity as well samam so that is that is another quality of dharma raja equity actually these words that that are mentioned here dharmyam nyayam sakuranam nirvyalikam samam mahat all this is describing maharaj yudhishthira and that's why he is recognizing those qualities in others because he has those qualities he is recognizing those qualities in others this is one of the most important thing that uh, we can understand that we see the world through our own minds mind and intelligence so whatever qualities we have we will see that in others as well so so here uh, 
this is uh, so dharmyam nyayam sakaranam nirvyalikam samam mahat all these qualities are in maharaj yudhishthira and he is seeing all these qualities in what draupadi has told it. so this is a very uh, interesting point right so we go back to the story so now crane is asking so this is very beautiful this is baka uh, adhyaya it is called so there there are so many questions a crane asks and maharaj yudhishthira being dharma raja answers uh, son of the dharma raja himself yam raja he answers all those questions in wonderful in in the best way uh, so there is one question where uh, the crane asks uh, maharaj yudhishthira what is the most wonderful thing in this whole universe uh, especially in the material world so that there, there is a very shila prabhupada also quotes this in many of his lectures the question is what is the most wonderful thing in this material world and the answer that maharaj yudhishthira gives is ahani ahani bhutani gachanti yamalayam shesha sthavaram ichanti ata ashcharya kim param so what does what does this mean maharaj yudhishthira is saying that ahani ahani bhutani gachanti yamalayam that every moment some living being is dying every moment so there is no moment when someone is not some living being is not dying every moment so ahani ahani bhutani gachanti yamalayam shesha sthavaram ichanti he says that still all the others think that they will be living forever that somehow or the other i will not die somehow or the other i can continue living eternally shesha sthavaram ichanti ata ashcharya kim param what is more wonderful than this so this is what uh, maharaj yudhishthira is saying ahani ahani bhutani gachanti yamalayam shesha sthavaram ichanti ata ashcharya kim param so this is the and why does this happen this happens because we we see in uh, uh, we are uh, uh, this happens because by nature we are eternal our original nature is sachidananda so the this as krishna says mamai vamsho jeeva loke jeeva bhuta sanatana manashashtan indriyani prakriti sthani karshati so krishna says that this uh, this all the living entities in this material world are my part and parcels amsha jeeva bhuta sanatana and they are actually they are eternal all the living entities are eternal manashashtani indriyani prakriti sthani karshati when we identify when the living being identifies with the mind and the five senses the struggle in this material universe takes place so we can understand so this is the why is this so wonderful because without realizing the original nature one is trying to be eternal for example we take the example of uh, hiranyakashipu so hiranyakashipu wanted to remain eternal in his body he, he did not want his body to uh, die so he he asked that he so this is the condition unfortunately of materialists uh, the materialists because they don't have any other conception than than the gross bodily conception of life that's an unfortunate situation namam dushkritino moodha prapadyante naradama maya paharata gyana asuram bhavam ashrita this is therefore unfortunately the materialist is in a, in a sinful state of mind uh, that is kriti kriti is some activity but when the activities are in sinful state that is dushkriti so krishna mentions in bhagavad gita namam dushkriti no so who are sinful so krishna actually uses some heavy words there moodha he says that but he is not using those words in krishna is the best friend of all the living entities sukhridam sarva bhutana so there is no better friend than krishna so how can he uh, he talk about any living entity in a in a in a bad way he can never do that 
Krishna can never do that. It is coming from a state of compassion. This that that somehow or the other, there are certain kinds of living entities who are not inclined to surrender to the Lord. So uh, there is there is this verse. Dua, this uh, sura asura evacha. Vishnu bhakta. Uh, so in this universe, there is there are two kinds of living entities: sarga lokeshu, sura asura evacha, Vishnu bhakta smritas deva asura stat viparyaya. So uh, it is mentioned in uh, the scriptures that there are Krishna mentions that there are two kinds of living entities: one is sura and one is asura. So sur, sura is those are those who have the qualities. Hara uh, bhakta skuto mahad gunat mano rathena sato dhavato bhai. So so this is this is yasyaasti bhaktir bhagavati akinchana sarvair gunair tatra samasate sura. Hara abhaktasya kuto mahad gunat mano rathena asato dhavato bhai. So Shila Prabhupada mentions this verse in in many of his lectures as well. He says that yasyaasti bhaktir bhagavati akinchana. So one who has unflinching devotional love for the Lord, continuously, constantly, sarvair gunair tatra samasate sura. So such a person has got all good qualities in 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 them, who 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 have unflinching devotional love for the Lord. Yasyaasti bhakti bhagavati akinchana. Sarvair gunair tatra. So all the good qualities are there in such a person. Samas sura, and such a person is is in the category of demigods. Actually, hara abhaktasya kuto mahad gunad mano rathena asato dhavato bahi. So in that verse, it is said that one who is not in the devotional state of mind, unfortunately, such a person does not have good qualities. What is the reason? Because mano rathena asato dhavato bahi. Because whatever activities are being done by such a person is being done on the chariot of the mind, the external mind. And what is the chariot of the external mind? Asato. It is based on untruth, and it is based on dhavato bahi. And this this chariot of mind is always going outside. It is not contemplating inside. It is not understanding the real nature of who we really are. Because of that, even though uh, externally there might be good qualities, but if the devotional sentiment is not there, if devotional activities are not there, the externally good activities has no meaning. So we see this another beautiful verse in Shrimad Bhagavatam as well, where it is it says, "Dharma swanushtita pumsa vishvakshena katha suya nodpadiye dratim yadi shrama evahi kevalam." So that that is a It's it's a very beautiful verse where it says that one may be engaging one's in in all one's activities very nicely, the the daily norm daily activities that one has to engage in. Vishvakshena kathasu ya note padhe ratim yadi, but if one does not attach rat, one does not inculcate rati. Rati is attachment, so one does not inculcate attachment to hearing about the Lord. Dharma Swanushita Pumsam Vishwakshena Katha Suya Vishwakshena Katha. So that is Krishna Katha. Note Padya Dratim Yadi. If one does not develop the attachment to hear about Krishna, then Shrama Eva Hi Kevala. Then all the activities, even though they are performed very nicely, is unfortunately just a hard labor. This is the conclusion of our, of the scriptures that Vedaishya Sarvay Raham Eva Vedyam. So among everything in Vedas. Who is to be known? Krishna is to be known. So this is this is the conclusion of all the Vedas. We'll come back to so this this episode. So this episode where the where Yudhishthira is. So there there is one more question. There are so many questions and answers in that in that, uh, and they are all beautifully answered. For example, there is one another question where the crane is asking Maharaj Yudhishthira, "What is the news in this material world?" This is another nice question that uh, the crane is asking, and Maharaj Yudhishthira says that the news is that the material world is like a pan, 
and all the entities are being cooked in that pan and who is cooking it cooking the time is cooking the time is the cook the chef all the living entities the material world is a pan and all the living entities are being cooked and what is the the sun is the fire the days and nights are the fuel and the months uh, and the seasons are, are like that the wood in the in the fire so, so this is this is another nice uh, synonym that uh, not synonym it's like a simile it's it's an example uh, that uh, that maharaj yudhishthira gave so that is the news so that's the news every day in the material world because ahaniya so this uh, this the, that was another one the ahani ahani bhutani but this one the, there is this ayur harati vai pumsam udyan astam chayan asau tasyarthe yat kshanonita uttama shloka vartaya so there is this uh, wonderful uh, uh, wonderful statement in uh, in the in this uh, scriptures where where in shrimad bhagavatam where it is it is said that udyan astam cha ayur harati vai pumsam udyan astam cha yan asau so this when the when when the days are coming and going there is morning and night morning and night every time there is morning and night so the the age is getting reduced so person is going to die every 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 morning and night every day when it is coming the age is getting reduced but not for the person who is tasyarte yat kshanonita uttama shloka vartaya one one who is involved in discussing about uttama shloka so krishna's another name is uttama shloka so he is glorified by transcendental verses so that is uttama shloka so it, it is said that ayur harati vai pumsam so uh, for for the people for uh, the people who are not inclined to hear about the lord it is the age is getting reduced but not for the person who is hearing about the lord why because when we are hearing about the lord we know our eternal nature and when we know our eternal nature then then the body is just an external instrument so krishna himself mentions in bhagavad gita that that this uh, this yantra rudhani maya so ishwara sarva bhutanam kridheshe arjuna arjuna tishthati brahmayan sarva bhutani yantra rudhani maya so krishna says that ishwara sarva bhutanam so krishna is in the heart of all the living entities hridheshe in the heart of all the arjuna tishthati brahmayan sarva bhutani so all the living entities are taking birth after birth after birth continuously why because yantra rudhani maya because one is situated in a in a machine of maya so because one is situated in the machine of maya one thinks that one is the machine even though one is not the machine it's a sophisticated machine you know that it's it's a it's a unbelievably sophisticated machine i mean uh, human beings are trying to make robots uh, and and trying to give some intelligence to the robots but we'll see how how, how time progresses and can can human beings actually create create something like another human being like now we are creating robot is it perhaps perhaps we could go so near it but we can we can never so this is the this is the difference between the lord and the living entities the living entities are trying to lord it over the material nature in their in their own own way because krishna has got that uh, quality the living entities have those that quality in minute proportion and the living entities are trying to exhibit that in various ways that that minute proportion quality so this is yantra ruda so we were we were in that particular uh, part of discussion so the, the it is it is a machine the 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 body is a machine and machine by its nature has got a starting date and an end date machine cannot go on working forever uh, so uh, so that that's the that's the that is realized by person who is in the spiritual path the path of spirituality is is the path where one understands that this 
दस देही नोस्मिन यथा देहे कौमारम यवनम जरा तथा देहांतरम प्राप्ति धीरस तत्र न मोहियति वेर इट इज द अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज दैट देर इज प्रोप्राइटर ऑफ द बॉडी विद इन द बॉडी एंड देर फोर देर इज कौमारम यवनम जरा देर फोर देर इज चाइल्डहुड यूथहुड एंड ओल्ड एज एंड सिमिलरली देहांतरम प्राप्ति सो सिमिलरली द लिविंग एनिटी हैज टू गिव अप द बॉडी धीरस तत्र न मोहियति देर फोर a sober person is not bewildered by these constant changes that happen in the material world we are, we are discussing this uh, so that, that's a since yudhishthira king yudhishthira is mentioned in this verse it, it was good to kind of try and understand uh, th- that story where varaj yudhishthira is in that situation and we, we see there are so many questions and answers in that baka and baka is crane so in that in that uh, chapter and finally after answering all the questions to the satisfaction of the yaksha who is yamraj himself so yamraj actually yamraj actually is testing his son yudhishthira and the pandavas in that episode so yamraj yamraj says that uh, he becomes the deer he takes the arani and then he goes in the in the lake and he takes the form of crane and he is doing that and uh, in the end he says that which brother do you want to bring back to life because all the four pandavas are uh, have taken the poisonous water and they have died and then yudhishthira says that please bring nakula back to life and uh, then the crane asks why why did you say uh, nakula why did you why did you not say arjuna or bhima they are stronger then he says that because nakula and sardeva were the sons of madri by other the other mother uh, that uh, and bhishma and arjuna are uh, kunti's sons so i i actually want one from madri's sons as well son as well because i am already there as a representative of kunti then uh, the crane the baka reveals himself as dharmaraj yamaraj and he says that, that yes you are you are representing dharma so this uh, this this so here this this words here is is all is all related to maharaj yudhishthira dharmyam nyayam sakarunam so we discussed about dharmyam nyayam nyayam is justice <coughs> so justice giving justice is is a very important activity of a king giving in earlier days the king himself was responsible for giving justice now we have the system of chief justice supreme court high court we have different types of courts but in the in the era of of the time when the kings were the supreme they they were the final they, they were giving the justice to all the citizens and and the giving of justice is, is really an important role of an emperor like yudhishthira so he has he has given justice so many times to so many people when he is reigning and therefore he knows what justice is then sakaruna this is this is a very beautiful uh, word sakaruna full of mercy so this is uh, we we say hey krishna karuna sindho deena bandho jagatpate gopesha gopika kanta radha kanta namostute so this prayer karuna sindho this ocean of mercy so the lord is an ocean of mercy and therefore the living entities have got the drop of that ocean as well the the single drop so this titikshava uh, karunika so we, we, when we were discussing in last verse i think it was 44 and before that we we have mentioned this about this verse titikshava karunika suhridam sarva dehinam ajata shatrava shanta sadavo sadu bhushanam so this is the what are the ornaments that a saintly person wears it's not a material ornament that the saintly person wears it's the spiritual ornaments it's the it's the ornaments that that are that give the natural beauty and what are those ornaments it is titikshava forbearance karunika so this is sakarunam so this is the word used here so mercy so there is uh, because there is forbearance there is mercy the mercy cannot come without forbearance because 
there would be living entities who are unfortunately in a lower state of mind and in a state of ignorance or passion and in that state the there might be some wrong deeds that are committed by those living entities in, in those modes of material nature so therefore the real saintly person who has who has that ornament of forbearance is able to show compassion even when things are not even when someone is not behaving as they should be behaving so this is the karunika suhridam sarvadehina so when there is karunika one sees everyone as as a friend even though so vidya vinaya sampanne brahmane gavi hastini shuni chaiva shwapakecha pandita samadarshina krishna mentions in bhagavad gita how a person in knowledge sees different kinds of living entities but still sees that the lord is present in all the living entities so vidya vinaya sampanne so when there is transcendental knowledge there is vinaya there is humility so when there is transcendental knowledge automatically the humility comes and when these two qualities are there then one sees that there is vidya uh, vinaya sampanne brahmane gavi hastini so that the person is seeing a brahmana a person is seeing a a cow a person is seeing an elephant a person is seeing a brahmane gavi hastini shuni chaiva shwa pakecha a person is seeing a dog a person is seeing a dog eater so there are five different kinds of people is seeing but samadarshina but the but is seeing everyone as part and parcel of the lord so that is the vision in transcendental knowledge so that is the divya divya drishti you can say the what divya divya is transcendental and drishti is the vision so um, shastra chakshusha as they say so this is seeing through the eye of the scriptures so that is the so this is uh, the qualities that we were discussing the ornaments of a saintly person so sukhridam sarvadehina ajata shatrava shanta sadavo sadubhushan for 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 a saintly person an enemy is not born neither in the past nor in the present nor in the future there is no enemy because of the forbearance there is no enemy ajata shatrava shanta very peaceful so narayana khala shanta bhajanti hi anusuyave so mumukshvi ghor roopa so it is it is said uh, it is said in shrimad bhagavatam that narayana khala shanta bhajanti hi anusuyave so one who has no this this uh, anasu anasuya is no there is no sentiment of jealousy in the in the in the dharma projita kaitavo atra paramo nirmatsarana so uh, the shrimad bhagavatam is for someone who has paramo nirmatsarana so matsara is this this uh, state of mind where there is competition and rivalry Uh, this this state where one wants to say that i am better than you uh, in this i am better than you in that this this competition unnecessary competition so this uh, th- that is that is matsara that is suya so anasuya nirmatsara so this is this is what is the scriptures is all about dharma projeta kaitavo atra paramo nirmatsarana so it is for the supreme people who are non envious supremely non envious Uh, non competitive in terms of saying that i am greater or i am i am bigger there is no thinking at all uh, so satam vedyam vastavam atra vastu shivadam tapatrayon moolanam shrimad bhagavatam mahamuni krite kim va paray rishwara sadyo hridya avirudhyate atra kriti bhi shushrut bhi shushru shubhi tat kshanat so this is one of the beautiful verse in shrimad bhagavatam so where it is saying that one ha- one is rejecting all kinds of religion which is based on cheating principle and it is it uh, one is taking accepting something which is paramo nirmatsarana which has got no trace of envy in it no trace absolutely no trace paramo nirmatsarana satam vedya and who is understand understanding this one who wants to know the supreme absolute truth that person is understanding this satam vedya vastava matra vastu this is the truth this is the only truth that that's uh, 
that needs to be understood in this whole universe, uh, the truth that is coming from Srimad Bhagavatam. Because uh, we, we see uh, we see in that, uh, that verse where Krishna so dhamo pagate dharma jnana dibhisa kalo nashta drisham mesha puran arko dhunodita. So this is said, in, uh, said about Srimad Bhagavatam that when Krishna left back to his own abode, Krishna Swadhamo Pagate, when he went, what went along with him? Dharma and Jnana went along with him. The, so we are, we are saying about Dharmyam here in this verse. So Dharma and the transcendental knowledge. So both went along with Krishna. Krishna Swadhamo Pagate, Dharma Jnana Dipisa, Kalav Nashta Drisham Mesha. Immediately when Krishna went, the Kali Yuga started. So, how, so why Kali Yuga did not start when Krishna was there? Because Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. How can Kali exist in front of Krishna? Impossible. The Kali Purusha cannot exist. So this is, uh, so when Krishna went, uh, Dharma and Jnana went with him and Kalonashta. So then the Kali Yuga started, Drisham Mesha, Puranarko Dhanodita. So this is very beautiful verse in Shri, about Srimad Bhagavatam. In Srimad Bhagavatam, about Srimad Bhagavatam. And what is that? When Krishna went back to his own abode along with religion and the transcendental knowledge, this Srimad Bhagavatam originated as a sun is rising, as the rise of a sun. So Puranarko Dhunodita. And it is giving the, the transcendental light of knowledge. So there's, there's a beautiful aphorism in Vedas which says, Asato Ma Sadgamaya, Tamaso Ma Jyotirgamaya. Maritivarma Amritam Gamaya. This is the three, the three uh, transcendental verses, the lines. So first one is saying that, lead me from untruth to truth. So asato ma sadgamaya. So what is asat? Asat is na sato vidyate bhavo na bhavo vidyate sata. Ubheor api drishtantas tva anayos tattva darshini. Krishna says, so what is the untruth is that which constantly changes. That is untruth. So the real truth never changes. That is uh, that is understanding. So whatever we are seeing in the material world is constantly changing. And therefore it is, in that respect it is asat. Not in the respect that it is, it is like uh, a dream or something like that as the impersonalist would like to call it. The personalism has, says that there is there is some some uh, semblance of truth in it because it is based on the Lord's energy. So the Lord's energy cannot be false because the Lord cannot be false. <laughs> Simply, uh, so, so in that way, so, so this this but something that constantly changes, it is it, it it does not have any value because it constantly changes. But where is the where is the value in it? So na sato vidyate bhavo na bhavo vidyate sata. But what is eternally existing, it, it, it eternally exists and therefore it has value. It does not change. It, what one thing, the thing that does not change has got immense, has got the value in it. So this is Tattva Darshi. So Tattva, that is, a, that is the real truth. The understanding of the truth is, is done by the Tattva Darshi. This, this is the, so Asato Ma Sadgamaya, Tamaso Ma Jyotirgamaya, Murutyavar Ma Amritam Gamaya. So from darkness lead me to light, from death lead me to immortality. This, so understanding of immortality has to be done from the perspective of internalization, not externalization. So we see that, uh, for example, Hiranyakashipu was trying to make immortality a reality through external body. And we see what happened to Hiranyakashipu, and and he was and he actually wanted everyone to 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 say that he is the Lord. He, he did not like that Lord Vishnu was being worshipped. So, so that is that is unfortunate mentality of uh, the demoniac. Therefore, that causes that causes the whole dissatisfaction in the material world. This. Dissatisfaction is caused when the identification is done with something that constantly changes. Satisfaction will happen when Kapuryamanam achalam pratishtam 
समुद्र माप प्रविशंति यद्वत तद्वत कामयम प्रविशंति सर्वे स शांति मापनोति न काम कामे कृष्णा कृष्णा मेंशन सेस इन भगवदीता दैट ही गिव्स एग्जांपल ऑफ ऑफ दिस ओशन द वाटर वाटर कीप्स कमिंग इन द ओशन आपूर्यम मनम अचलम प्रतिष्ठम समुद्र माप प्रविशंति यद्वत सो जस्ट लाइक द वाटर कीप्स ऑन गोइंग इनटू द ओशन but the ocean is still maintains its its uh, position it doesn't cross it doesn't take away the whole land and it doesn't make everything into water it it has its own limit so similarly krishna gives the example that this um, this because there is material body there will be times when one gets material desires and they keep on coming but one who just watches it coming and going and does not indulge in them actually achieves peace sa shanti mapnoti na kama kami not the person who every time a new material desire is coming i want to i'm i'm going after that and another desire is coming i'm going after that this is this so then this bhoga ishwarya prasakta nam taya parata chetasam vyavasaya atmika buddhi samadhau na vidyate in that condition what happens is there is this attachment to bhoga and aishwarya this attachment to that i want to keep on enjoying whatever whatever thought is coming whatever thought for sensual enjoyment is coming i'm i'm going to get that i'm going to get this so then the apaharata chetasam the mind has been kidnapped in 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 that way the mind has been kidnapped then vyavasayatmika buddhi samadho na vidyate in that condition this one pointed concentration on the lotus feet of the lord is unfortunately not possible samadho na vidyate व्यवसायात्मिक बुद्धि एक एक कुरुनंदना बहुशाखा ही अनंत बुद्धियो अव्यवसायी ना सो कृष्णा मेंशन दिस इन द व्यवसायात्मिक बुद्धि दैट वन पॉइंटेड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑन सर्विंग द लॉर्ड इज एक इट्स इट्स वन पॉइंटेड एंड देर फोर देर इज द समाधि कैन बी अचीव्ड इन दैट स्टेट वेन देर इज वन पॉइंटेड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन द समाधि इज अचीव्ड इन दैट स्टेज सो धारणा ध्यान समाधि दैट इज द लास्ट थ्री स्टेट्स इन द अष्टांग योग and the three states differ in the one pointed concentration so dharana is a concentration for a certain amount of time dhyana is more than dharana and samadhi is where there is no other thought other than that thought that is samadhi so the only thought is so that that is what the gopis of vrindavan were in. they they were in samadhi of thinking about always thinking about the lord ramya kachit upasana vrajavadu vargena ya kalpita so uh, this is what is mentioned so even though they were engaged in so many activities constantly in terms of externally but internally their mind was always thinking about the lord what is krishna doing now what is krishna doing now so that that was their always their their uh, mental meditation was always that so this is the this is, uh, so uh, so samam mahat nirvyalikam samam mahat so without duplicity in dharma samam is equity equity and bahat glorious raja dharma suta ragnya pratyananda vacho dvija so, uh, so so this is what dharma suta so the son of dharma raj uh, told agreed with queen draupadi on this and uh, when we go to the purport we see we see here in in purport by shri prabhupad says that one should not tolerate the humiliation of a member of a great family arjuna and his family were indebted to the family of dronacharya because of arjuna's learning the military science from him if ingratitude were shown to such a benevolent family it would not be at all justified from the moral standpoint this was this was actually a very difficult situation as we can imagine a very difficult situation for arjuna because he was getting two different views two diametrically opposite views so one view was from bhima who was saying that please we just need to kill him he has done such heinous activities uh, we need to kill ashwatthama and draupadi is saying from the other side totally different draupadi is saying that let's forgive him he he, he has he is the son of our guru uh, so we, we should not we should at least respect the family even though he has become a dvija bandhu He, he he has not followed the principles of a brahmana but because he is the son of dronacharya our guru uh, we should not be 
and should treat him with respect. So this is what Srila Prabhupada is kind of confirming in the purport. So, to, so final takeaway, I'll, I'll go for the three takeaways again uh, as, as we have done previously. The first takeaway about dharmam, nyayam, sakarunam, nirvyalikam, samam, mahat. So all these qualities of religiosity, dharmam, nyayam, justice, sakarunam, having compassion, nirvyalikam, without duplicity, samam, equity, and mahat. All these are glorious qualities. And because Maharaj Yudhishthira had these glorious qualities, he is able to see them, see these qualities everywhere. And he has seen that in Draupadi as well. When Draupadi is asking uh, that Arjuna not to kill Ashwatthama. That is one point. The second point is in terms of how the, the like Ashwatthama was in the company of Duryodhana and Kauravas. And because of that, because of the company that he kept, unfortunately, he, he came into that situation where he was in. So it is, that's why it's called the, the Satsangatve Nisangatvam, Nisangatve Nirmohatvam, Nirmohatve Nishchalitatvam, Nishchalitatve Jeevan Mukti. So that is said in Bhajagovindam that this is this is a progression. So when when the mind is in engaged in the Sat, in the thoughts of Sat, and activities are in that Sat, then there is detachment from material things, Nisangatvam, Nisangatve Nishchalitatvam. So when there is detachment, one is able to concentrate on the lotus feet of the Lord. Nishchali tatve, satsangatve, nissangatvam, nissangatve, nirmohatvam, nirmohatve, nishchali tatvam. So mo moha is attachment. And then when there is no attachment, external attachment for things that are flirting or like which are constantly changing, then there is, when there is constant attachment to the lotus feet of the Lord, then there is liberation. But liberation is not asked separately by the devotees. It is. It has come. It comes as a byproduct of engaging in devotional service. Uh, that's why Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, "Mama Janmani Janmani Ishwari Bhata Bhakti Rahi That birth after birth, let me be engaged in your devotional service. So the pure devotee of the Lord is not does not care which place the per, which place the person is in. Like we see even in case of uh, Bali Maharaj, that he is in the Patal Loka, but Lord Vishnu himself has told that I will be your doorkeeper. So, so this is the greatness. So, whatever uh, Narayana Parasarve na kutashina bibyati, Swarga apavarga narkeshu apitulyartha darshina. So, uh, whether one is in Swarga, heaven, whether one is in hell, or whether one is in uh, the material world, it does not matter for someone who is engaged in the devotional service of the Lord. And the third takeaway is in terms of how the the the, the karuna, this uh, the sa karuna, that, that is that is a, that is a very important uh, word. There. The this um, this mercy, it is it is it is the mercy of the naisha matishtava durukramangrim sparshati yadanathapagamo anathapagamo yadartha mahi yasham pada rajobishekam. So this is said by Prahlad Maharaj, where it is said that that this it is the costless mercy of the pure devotees that, that, that actually gives this inclination to engage in the devotional service of the Lord. And therefore, whatever state of uh, uh, devotional service we are in, uh, let us try and give that mercy uh, to every everyone, whoever we are meeting. Uh, so... Those are the three takeaways. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity uh, of service. Vancha kalpa tarubhyascha kripa sandubhya yucha pati tanam pavanebhyo vaishnavebhyo namodama. Thank you very much. So I have seen one comment from Kulnar Mataji. Uh, can you please clarify the following doubt that has arisen in my mind? After reading Prabhupada's comment to verse 42 of the same chapter, when that same action of Draupadi, that is called glorious and without duplicity in today's verse, is being cited as childish, without discriminatory power. Verse 42. I'll just go to the verse 42. 
the worst what you do is okay verse 42 of the same when the same action of draupadi that is called glorious and without duplicity in today's verse is being cited as childish without discriminatory power okay ashwatthama was condemned so this is based on the perspectives gulnar mata ji it is a perspective so uh, see in in any situation we can have multiple perspectives you know, there could be in one situation because everyone is seeing the world from their own as as i was seeing as i was saying here dharmam nayam sakarunam nirvelikam samam mahat so all this is said yudhishthira is recognizing all these qualities in draupadi so because he has those qualities so this perspectives and we can we can put on the specs of a like you know in this in the verse 42 it is it is being the the perspective is given from bhima's perspective you know bhima's uh, specs has been put on and bhima is thinking like that you now that uh, that whatever is uh, childish without discriminatory power so that is bhima's perspective because bhima wants ashwatthama to be killed so his perspective is different and yudhishthira so today's verse is yudhishthira's perspective so yudhishthira is dharma raja so he he is not acting on impulse so that is the that is the bhima generally acts on impulse he, he becomes angry very soon and and he wants to act so 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 this this difference is there between the and so so in this particular verse prabhupada is pointing to how bhima was thinking and that's why we see that we see uh, you know in that verse there is uh, it is being cited as childish without discriminatory power because bhima wanted to kill so the end goal basing on the end goal the perspectives change and bhima was impulsive and his end goal was to kill ashwatthama so his perspective was that yudhishthira is not impulsive his end goal is to protect ashwatthama not to kill ashwatthama and therefore he is he is saying from this perspective so that is the nature of this material world you will have not even material world even in spiritual world you know we see we see that but in spiritual world everything is in a transcendental way there is no it's all eternally blissful uh, so in the spiritual world there are differences of perspectives in spiritual world as well but th- that is transcendental so so this is what uh, this is what would be the answer mataji hope it answers your question hari krishna and uh, shri rupa prabhu thank you for your comment in the beginning of our coming to devotional service we may not understand the need to hear carefully and continuously so we may take shelter in seemingly external activities will we eventually come to the point of understanding the importance of hearing or will krishna accept the external activity and reveal himself to us also not everyone is into reading and philosophy yes this is a nice point prabhu the beginning of our coming to devotional service we may not understand the need to hear carefully and continuously so we may take shelter in seemingly external activities will we eventually come out to the point of understanding the importance of hearing or will krishna accept the external activity and reveal himself to us yes it's it's a it's a combination prabhu actually there's a you know we see that there is um, there is nitya siddha there is kripa siddha there is sadhana siddha so there are different kinds of uh, perfect perfection different ways in which the person goes reaches the stage of perfection and it could be a combination prabhu actually so if it is a if, it is, if someone is in a kripa siddha if someone has attained the perfection of rendering uh, 100% loving devotional service to krishna uh, in 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 an external like like we see here uh, the action will or will krishna accept the external activity and reveal himself to us so that so that is also possible that is possible and it is it is on the discretion 100% discretion of krishna how how he he wants to do that you know, so, so so it could it could happen that you know someone actually so sadhana siddha one who is sadhana siddha one who has attained perfection through sadhana they will be the the first category that you mentioned here they will eventually come to a point of understanding the importance of hearing so that is sadhana siddha but then there is the kripa siddhas as well 
will Krishna accept the external activity and reveal himself to us? So that is there as well. So Kripa Siddha would be the person who probably did not do as much sadhana as a sadhana Siddha would, do, would have done, but still has reached perfection. So it is up to the 100% discretion of Krishna what he wants to do. So as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says in, in this, in the last words of uh, Shikshashtakam Mahashli Shiva Padavatam, Vinashtuma Madarshana Marmatam Karutva, Yathatatava Vidhatva Lampatva Mat Pranamathastu Sarvanapara. So this, uh, this um, yeah, so it is Krishna's discretion, at, at his discretion, what, how he wants to bring a living entity to perfection whether he wants them to and it would actually depend on the living entity's own inclinations as well actually and krishna will take care of those inclinations so if if the living entity is falling short krishna will so you see that that, that was yoga kshemam vaham yam ananya shintayantu maam ye jana paryupasate tesham nitya bhyuktanam yoga kshemam maham yam that that particular verse krishna is saying that if someone is lacking it, I will provide the, that, that extra, whatever is lacking, I will give that. And I will, I will ensure that the perfection is attained. So hope that answers uh, Sri Rupa Prabhu. Thank you very much, Guru. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much uh, for this opportunity of service. I'll end this uh, session then. Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Sarvam Shri Krishna Arpanamstu.